Hey Virgo, welcome back to another episode. <laughs> Virgo, if you're new, please do click like, share, and subscribe. This is Kelly for this House of Virgo, channel for Virgos, Virgo Sun, Moon Rising, and Venus. And you don't have to be a Virgo Sun to get the readings, okay? Um, personal reading links in the description box below. Do follow me on Facebook. The information is right up above there, how you can get in contact with me <clears throat> and I'm also running a special for February as you probably already have seen so go over to my booking site and uh, get that discounted heavily discounted reading all right you guys so let's get into this be mindful Virgos some of the messages may or may not resonate it's different every day so the first card out obviously is the snake um, competition enemy someone being very clever and malicious um and possibly the other woman or the other man okay hmm wonder where this is going i think this is good we're gonna go hard here virgo let's see what are the messages here what else does virgo need to know tell virgo about this reading about these messages what does virgo need to hear oh geez i knew it you know before i started the reading i was like oh we got a narc situation going on i could feel it the Grim Reaper, relationship is over, no second chances. Grow and transform your life. Grow the heck up. Get the heck out of here. Yeah, somebody, all right, you guys. Um, either you're currently or will be coming across this energy. Um, someone who is just like a snake or a wolf in sheep's clothing or a snake with lipstick. Okay, Grim Reaper energy. <clears throat> Virgo, looks like you're done. Yes, you are. You're done with someone's lies, deceit, trickery um deception temptation all that junk okay virgo it looks like for a lot of you there's this you know who this person is you already know what the energy is with this person and you're making healthier choices here virgo look at you yep in love and in life self-care self-love and being happier so good virgo good some of you are seeing a snake for what they are you're calling somebody out on their bs Okay, or you're finally seeing some truth or you've seen some truth and you're moving forward and making better decisions in your life. So, I mean, that's awesome, Virgo. Awesome. It's once you actually can see it and acknowledge it and accept it, then you can actually let go and move forward. Okay, show me more messages, more energy for Virgo, for someone who has snaky behavior. They might be of the Chinese sign, the snake. Being a snake does not make someone a snake. Okay, um, somebody's definitely slithering around here, okay, or somebody's got, there might be a third party situation, involvement that you know about, let me see here, another person, and maybe you find out about it, or you know about it, and you're like, nope, I'm not going to play, uh, not going to be a, uh, third third party mistress energy not going to be a um just on the outside looking in i don't know what a male would be to a equivalent to a mistress maybe like um a boy toy or something like that not going to be a sugar daddy or I, where is this stuff coming from i don't know it's like no virgo it's like no your whatever the situation is you're out okay for february you're just like nope I can do drama all by myself. <laughs> Keep it moving. Keep it moving. All right, let me see. I'm trying to get some cards here. Look at that. Ten of Cups came out in reverse. So there's definitely some kind of split or divorce, separation, um, not investing in this, this situation, not making you happy, um, and you're out. Yes, you're done. You're done with this energy here, Virgo. Okay. Somebody broke up a family or drove a wedge in a family situation you're not going back now for some of you this could be as i said a family member or or a friend it could be romantic but look virgo you're looking at the possibilities i feel like virgo um somebody or a person who had put you on a pedestal or made you think you were the only one was sneaking around perhaps and um trying to blind you <laughs> with love is what i'm hearing um make you think that you were the only one or you are special or you uh, there's nobody else put you on a pedestal but the thing is 
like I feel like somebody was trying to blind you so they could do yeah so they could get their look at that very smug energy from somebody here does that not look like John Travolta very smug energy here somebody who was just trying to get their you know wish fulfillment in a relationship here racking up all of look those look like a heck of a lot of uteruses racking up all those trophies yeah virgo this person a real scumbag I'm just gonna say that a real snake in the grass scumbag scumbag and you know that's we got our philly talk over here so yeah virgo i just feel like that you were dealing with or you already know or you're going to be realizing that whoever this person is you know no good no good very immature energy page of pentacles very immature let me see given maybe given a lot of gifts or trying to love bomb or something along those lines yeah okay yeah and being secretive okay this person very secretive doesn't say anything keeps very quiet okay um virgo it looks to me like you're just not having this look there's your sign you're not playing in february okay you're done with this tell me more about this person what does it deal with this person and then we're going to take a look at you virgo pisces energy we have water and we have earth okay let me see all right yeah, I feel like this person did a whole lot of, I can't, I'm busy, I'm working. I can't, I can't talk, I'm busy. It was like a cover up. I can't, I'm too busy for you uh, right now. I'll get back to you later, you know? Um, and But look, here you go. Seven of Swords. Yeah, they were being deceitful. This was not, oh, I'm, I'm busy, I'm working because I'm busy and I'm working. It's because I'm busy working on somebody else. Yeah, definitely an energy there. Somebody who was stealing away, running away, thieving, okay, running away from, yeah, wow. Running away from the commitment, any type of commitment or reunion or marriage or connection, okay? This, this is somebody who, um, <laughs> this could be a karmic twin flame, Taurus energy here. This is somebody who um, just didn't want to see it through somebody didn't want to see it through they just kept like playing and being deceitful and you know doing all that energy and you know you might be finding about uh, out about this now in february it's like or your hunches like i feel like some of you are like i knew it your hunches are right maybe you doubted yourself let me see you let me take a look here at you virgo what is going on this is an awful message. Listen, this message is for those of you who have these really strong hunches that, that this person is a snake in the grass. Okay, if you have a, even a, just a little bit of doubt, because you'll never have doubt like that with someone who's not. So I'm not saying that this great relationship and this lover that you're with right now where everything's healthy and you have no doubts or anything, um, is all of a sudden going to turn around and be a snake in the grass. That's not the message. This is for those of you who like started nodding your head as soon as you saw the snake. As soon as you saw the snake, you're like, oh, yeah, this for me. Like, you know, 100%. Okay. I know some of you have left a relationship like this and you're in a healthier relationship right now. Okay. And that's great. That's part of your healthy choices. That's part of the shifts and the changes that you've been making. Um, for others that are still connected to someone who are like, what the heck is going on? What is this person doing? You know, um, are they messing around? What's going on? Yeah, Virgo, I feel like you've been keeping a lot of things to yourself. You're not really sure. Um, and you've been blocking, blocking your heart. I feel like a lot of you haven't been letting anybody else in because you have some unfinished business here. You're not sure what's going on you might be blocking new energy new love energy in the future because yeah you're going within you're trying to get clarity you know is somebody being deceptive definitely are they messing around is there another person involved in this situation okay are they saying that it's just a friendship or they're they're a friend of the family you know i mean or it's it's their ex okay and they stepped out on their marriage or their relationship. Virgo, you've got so much blocking energy here. Look at that. You're standing your ground for sure. The clarity comes. A lot of you are just like kind of going within like, why does this person keep pushing me away? 
or why do they keep um, being defensive or being avoidant? What is going on? I hope, Virgo, they haven't been, yeah, I hope that you haven't been taking it to heart and letting it stress you to the point where you feel like you need to do more or you need to... <laughs> please this person this this might be somebody who says well if you did a b or c then i would be happier and i wouldn't have to step out like that's a load of shit that's a crock okay i hope virgo that you're not going into this place with this nine of swords where you've got so much conflict on your mind and anxiety that you can't sleep at night listen if you're in a relationship that it is affecting your health your sleep your work that's not a relationship you should be in and you need to get out of that or distance yourself as soon as possible okay if it's affecting you in your everyday life in a negative way family member friend lover spouse whatever it is you need to find a way to get distance from that okay because good healthy loving relationships actually cause improvement in other areas of our lives because there's unconditional love and support yeah look virgo this is what you've been dealing with here and this is the struggle that will continue until you come to this place where it's like you know what this is my struggle love card it's like here i am letting the, the blind lead the blind okay <laughs> this person if you think that whoever this person is that they're some kind of something they're not they're nothing look at them they don't even have any shoes this person can't afford a pair of shoes or if they can afford a pair of shoes they can it's like a toss-up hmm do i eat let me get some food or do i buy a new pair of shoes it's like somebody's broke busted and disgusted here virgo and you're trailing right along after this person like what are you trying to get what are you hoping for because whatever they're trying to sell you listen don't buy it virgo don't buy it it's a bunch of it's bull yeah isn't it great how we went from like a listen you guys like i say in my readings every day there's a different message because i pick up a lot of energies i pick up um i connect with people I connect with spirit and angels and they're like nope this is the message today this has to go out someone here listening needs to know this okay what does virgo need to do what does virgo need to do going forward all right look at that lovely queen of pentacles virgo this message get into your element who is a virgo very practical does not gaslight themselves virgo sees things for exactly as they are first of all evidence you need to have evidence your hunches are your hunches okay but you need to gain some actual evidence you might get some there might be somebody else that this person like the other woman the other guy um comes forward or reveals it reveals something you might see it online okay also but yeah you need to get evidence and you need to get into your pentacle energy where you're very grounded um detach yourself from your emotions don't be reactive sit calmly right now and get the evidence that you need to have if you already have it then it's basically like the queen of pentacles will sit and kind of like a football coach just kind of sit and look at the playbook you know and and figure out what the next move is going to be all right however you handle that let me see what else does virgo need to do here in regard to this snaky snake you need to crush that snake with your heel that's for sure okay wow yeah getting a victory position here virgo you're a winner 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 chicken dinner listen virgo you got to remember who the f you are seriously you need to adjust your crown here don't let anybody try to tell you <laughs> what things are going to be if somebody's lying and cheating or messing around or being a deceptive little turd you have to um and call it and put yourself up on that pedestal you know this person doesn't deserve you okay the sun in the reverse right the sun's going down here on this look at this and the, the sun in the reverse and the lovers you need to make a decision to stop shining so much light on this person and on this relationship and turn that spotlight around and start shining it on yourself okay seriously and expose like it's time to make this it's time to make this this shift this decision here in your life and this is not in an egotistical way but you need to start paying more attention to you and less attention to what somebody else or other people are doing because it, it doesn't matter what matters is what's going on with you 
right? And you need to like get back into paying attention to your life. Once you find out or when you find out or if you already know and you're still hanging in there, stop hanging in there. Go, go, go. Get the distance you need. Get away from someone who is being deceitful, who is lying. I don't give a rat's ASS why somebody lies. There's billions of reasons why people lie. It doesn't matter. The whys do not matter when somebody is messing around or lying about things. It's the what, okay? The what's matter. What am I going to do about this? What what is happening? What is going on? What is the evidence? Not why, because people can gaslight with the why. Well, you know, I lied or I was cheating because you're never around, or I was doing this because, like, the whys are excuses. There's no excuse for lying, deceit, that kind of behavior. I don't care if someone is super, super insecure. You know what? And if they're, you know what? Let me tell you something. If you have a six-year-old that's lying, six-year-olds are going to lie, but you have to train them. This person is not your kid. They're not your child. You know what? If they can't get it together and that's the life that they want to live and outside of the relationship with you, you need to respect that and say, go ahead, have fun. That's I'm going to respect that decision that you're making, that you want to... Um, flirt and, and mess around with a whole bunch of different people and you don't want to be loyal, I'm going to respect that and I'm going to let you go do that and you have a good time because I got stuff to do. And you got to turn yourself around and start walking out that door and take care of what you need to take care of for yourself, Virgo. If not, you're going to be wasting your time because if you stay, then you're basically saying, I'm going to let you lie to me and continue to lie to me um, because I don't respect myself. Listen, it takes two people to lie, one to deliver the lie and one to accept the lie. Okay, so if you're staying in it and you know that somebody's acting like this, then you're making yourself out to be just as much of a liar as they are. You're better than that, Virgo. You're better than that. All right, now I have to say, if you, like, if there's a marriage and there's like one, like, there's a mess up, okay, and I will say, there's a mess up. And this person comes back and they're sorry and they, they've made a big mistake. You can tell when people are being honest and above board and they're, you know, their tail between their legs, they're humble and, and humility is there. You can tell. You got to trust your gut with that. Then, you know, Virgo, you can make the decision. Okay, well, we've got a lot invested here. They messed up. I'm going to give them another chance. Um, but that now they're on probation <laughs> and I'm going to give them another chance to prove themselves. But listen to me, Virgo, if they do it a second time, that was an that was intentional. Listen, no second chances. If somebody messes up the first time, Virgo, that's your call. But if they come back around and they're trying to fix it and then they do it again, all right. What what's the saying here? Um, once bitten, twice shy, Virgo. If that's your situation, look, the Eight of Cups in the reverse. In the upright, this is a card of temporary situation separation so if you have someone that was messing around and they come back and they want to fix it okay they if they walked out on the relationship and then they want to come back and fix it you get into temporary separation for a while and then figure out how that's going to go all right but this here to me the eight of cups in reverse is that's a complete breakup complete split and this is you walking away okay and here's the queen of swords in the reverse so this is the energy you got to get into here virgo with this person like nasty you don't have no time for this you're not wasting your time you're gonna call it like you see it a snake is a snake all right you can put lipstick on a pig it's still a pig you need to do something with your time and your energy and cut that off okay um yeah we have a lot of gemini showing up here um, another Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, you know all the signs are on the deck, Leo energy, you know who your person is, you know what the story is, okay, so I'm just gonna pull a few more cards here, Virgo, it looks to me like, you know, once you find out someone's a snake, you gotta free yourself completely, and walk on, move on, take your time to grieve, you can't grieve while you're still in the middle of the situation, you have to get out, and then you got to like put your foot down, slam the door, go no contact, do whatever you need to do because you need to grieve this process. Because if you don't, if you separate and you don't let go and you, and you don't go into a grief, uh, the grief stages, um, that person could pop back in and then you're going to wind up giving in and let the cycle repeat over and over. You absolutely got to get distance. Okay, let me see. 
what other messages we have here for you, Virgo? Craziness. So I don't feel like there's somebody here who's coming back and trying to re reconcile. This feels to me like you taking a stand in your life here. And just basically you're like, mm, I'm going to take the L on this and just keep moving. It's actually going to be their loss in the end. You know, um, wolf in sheep's clothing kind of energy. Somebody might be like, they lay it on sweet and thick in order to get something in return. Wolf in sheep's clothing is someone who pretends to be nice and kind and sweet, but they're actually a wolf underneath, and um, they will, um, they practice to deceive, to get something that they want that's deceptive, that they shouldn't be doing, like a wolf going into the sheep um, barn, I guess that's where sheep are, <laughs> pretending to be a sheep, so he could like kill all the, eat all the little lamb, and the story in that fable, Aesop's fable, the wolf in sheep's clothing, is that the wolf dresses up as a sheep and he goes into the sheep yard and he eats the little lambs, okay? They all think he's another sheep and then he takes off his sheep coat and he's actually a wolf and he eats the lambs. And then one day when he's sleeping with his sheepskin on, the shepherd comes in and decides that he wants to have some um, soup, mullet soup, <laughs> or sheep soup or whatever. So he goes in there and the first sheep he sees he kills, and it just so happens to be the wolf. So it always comes back around, okay? People who deceive um, often are ruined by their own deceit in the end. So Virgo, don't exact revenge on anybody. Um, this is just an energy of karma, and things come back to people and bite them in the ass when they practice to be deceptive and to lie and and these horrible horrible things right i don't know that you even need any more messages except that you need to like have confidence in yourself and let go and just basically be in that energy of like well <laughs> i'm gonna respect that that's what you want to do you're not dragging me down into this no 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 keep your distance move away all right what do you have here Step out of your comfort zone. Wow, Virgo. So, yeah, this is a big shift for you, okay? Uh, it's a big shift for Virgos at times, really. I mean, I have Leo in my... in my. I'm a Leo Virgo cusp, so I'm a fighter. <laughs> but eventually, I'm like, yeah, it's time to pick your battles, you know, and uh, stop fighting certain things. But for Virgos, it's, it's kind of hard for Virgos to let go of a relationship fully. Um, because Virgos always see the good in people and they always hope for the best and Virgos are healers and fixers and oftentimes do want to, um, sometimes Virgo, you can be gullible and fall for the okie doke and you need to like really clear your head and get real with yourself, you know, um, that, that's kind of a worry. Okay. Let me give you, uh, I don't know. They just said some messages of love. Messages of love. What does Virgo need to know here? Why am I pulling these cards? Yeah, you guys, it's going to be a little short. Oh, I can't. Denial. Detach with love to clearly see the truth. Some of you might be in denial or you might go into denial. And don't beat yourself up about that because that's common. That's like normal to go into like have a sense of shock or something you find out or when you come to realize what the relationship was. Um, you, that's the t detach. Very important, Virgo. You definitely need to detach. Um, you can detach with love, pull yourself out of this so that you can gain clarity and see the truth of what you might be coming up against in February. Okay. <laughs> And it's funny, be careful of t temptation, because if you split something or you end something here with someone, this person is going to, after some time, because I don't know that this person thinks that you have the, the brass, you know what, to walk away from the relationship. And they are going to try to come back and say, no, give me another chance. Now, if it's the first time and they want another chance to fix it, um, good but if they do it again see that's the first chance now if they come back again after messing up the second time they're gonna try to convince you no no listen I, I don't know what's wrong with me I'll go into therapy get the hell out of here you made a decision after the first time to do it again 
you don't need a counselor. You need shock therapy. Like, I don't know what to tell you. So be careful of this, especially. Right now, if some of you are like, one strike, you're out. It'd be tough playing on your team, Virgo, but you do what you got to do. Um, yeah, I just feel like once you move forward away from this and get distance, this person is going to try to come back around. Maybe this, maybe for some of you, you've already been through the first issue and now the second time it's, it's happening again and you're like oh man is it happening again and I, I just you know Virgo <laughs> and and you know what don't think like I don't want to just call Virgos out for doing that all signs do that you know they want to they want to give that um, chance and give love you know you love this person a lot invested some of you have kids with somebody some of you've been married for years and years and years or you just put so much energy into something and maybe they did too and something happened all signs do it all, all everybody does it okay here you go that just flew right out warning don't dismiss the red flags here and i really feel like today's reading um was i was just called into this energy okay so yeah don't dismiss these red flags you're getting them virgo you're getting red flags or you will be getting more and i feel like you know some of you just need to, I mean, I know, Virgo, when you haven't accepted the situation, you're going to keep fighting for it. And I know some of you, not all of you, but I know some of you are definitely like, it's going to be a breeze because some of you are just broke, busted, and disgusted by this person leading you down these pathways of pure hell. The, the road to hell is always paved with good intentions, right? Intentions don't mean anything. Well, I meant to love you better, or I meant to be uh, not a cheater, or I meant to not lie. It doesn't matter what you meant. It matters what you do, your actions, and your continuous patterns. You know, that's what's important. Okay, so... Yeah, you know what, Virgo, I'm not going to call out any names here because I, I, I'm i really, spe um, I don't want to say skeptical. Uh, I want to be very specific that, listen, I don't want you to like be done with this reading and then your suspicions start creeping up on you out of the blue where you've got no reason, like nothing is founded for you to all of a sudden just place this label on your person. This is for those of you who are like, oh no, this is so totally my situation and i know what i need to do at this point and maybe i just needed the clarification or the validation that it's okay for me to walk away um, from someone that is just like i said snake in the grass a an absolute just a lion crocker <laughs> just a lion you know what um all right i don't know i just felt like getting a couple more cards here i'm being told to just pull some more cards yeah, Virgo, I really hope that you gain the strength and the confidence to, you know, I'm not telling you you need to break up with somebody here, but some of you just need to get some damn distance from this person and like shut that phone off. Some of you need to like not respond, you know, um, or just tell somebody, look, I'm taking some time to myself, sort it out, you know sort it out you got to sort it out there you go king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles is there and we're just talking about you here virgo it is time um the king of pentacles queen of pentacles mature grounded successful wealthy um bettering themselves not a risk taker all about thriving high status stability security enterprising and provider virgo i feel like a relationship with someone that's been really bad has made you feel like ungrounded like you're struggling in your work um you're struggling with your relationships with other people because somebody's been lying and gaslighting maybe you're involved with some kind of narc or something and it's affecting like that sh that sh that ish bleeds down into your everyday life you got to get rid of that there's like a cancer you got to get rid of that energy virgo or you, it will that person will take you down it, just even by default if you let them all right i'm gonna leave you with chinese signs okay and then i'm gonna get going because i haven't done these i know it's a little bit shorter than normal um like i said my apologies i will definitely get in some longer readings going forward let me see don't forget you guys if you want to get personal reading i have a february special 15 percent off for the month of february so do go over and book that if you need that personal reading with me, and especially if this is resonating. All right, we've got Year of the Ox 
here. Okay. You have Year of the Horse. Year of the Rat. Year of the Dog. Okay. Year of the Goat. Year of the Monkey. We have Rat again. Goat again. Ha! And we're ending it on the Year of the Snake. Okay, Virgo. So, you know what, Virgo? Just remember one thing, right? It looks to me like the way this relationship, the way things are going here, you got to be the one to basically say the sun's going down on this relationship and you are not taking part or you refuse to take part in something that is not going to be healthy for you and another person. You got to be the one to do the cutoff here. And that's going to give you that sense of empowerment okay it's not an ego thing it's just about standing up for yourself so virgo i wish you all the best i will see you guys back here tomorrow for your weekend reading have a fantastic day and night and um go with love virgo take care